It's Detective JVB back in our video, and today we are doing a Elimination Chamber 2022 predictions. This is at the time of the record. It is February 18th, 2022. Elimination Chamber is tomorrow. I can't wait to see what happens. It's going to be crazy. But now, let's talk about the... Um, Predictions and we have uh, Becky and Bianca here too. They're gonna be chilling here. And now we're gonna start with the first prediction. We're gonna go with um, Ray Mysterio versus The Miz. I think Ray's gonna win because The Miz has cheated in the past against Dominic. So I think Ray's gonna win plus to hype up 2K22. Uh, that's just like a normal one on one match. So. We'll just see how that goes out. And then we got Drew uh, McIntyre versus Madcap Moss in a Falls Count Anywhere match. That'll be pretty interesting. Falls Count Anywhere. Yeah, like I said, that's be pretty interesting, but I obviously I think Drew's gonna come out on top. He beat uh, Madcap in the past, which I think was at day one. But you never know, they could flip the tables and Madcap win either by cheating or somehow, some way, somehow. Hopefully, Drew does win. Coming back, his first match other than the Rumble. His first one on one match since returning from the Royal Rumble. But I think Drew's going to win. Next, we have the Usos versus the Viking Raiders. Uh, with how they've been using the Raiders, very low chance of them winning. I think Usos are going to win. Especially if the Usos do retain. It'll probably mean Roman will retain, but I'm not sure. In the future, if the Usos were to lose on the same pay-per-view as Reigns, that might be a sign that Reigns was going to lose. You never know. Anything can happen. Plus, Raiders haven't even been on TV since like they got beat up from the Usos on that SmackDown, I think. So, um, definitely don't think there's a, like a 10% chance that the Raiders are going to win. Either way, now we're going to start to get into some of the big matches. We have Ronda versus Naomi, or Ronda and Naomi versus, um, Charlotte Flair and Sonya Deville. I think Ronda and Naomi, Naomi held up pretty well against Charlotte in that SmackDown match. So I think she'll be able to hold up, and then Ronda Rousey. You have you have Ronda Rousey on your team. I don't. That's gonna be low chance of you losing that match. I mean, uh, Ronda could break Sonya's other arm again, so that way she can't compete. You never know. Yeah, but we did hear online that there is gonna be a stipulation, or po possibly a stipulation, on the match, where one of Ronda's hands will be tied behind her back, but we don't know for sure. That might be a thing. You don't. You never know. Anything can happen. But um, so, who do you pick in that one? Ronda and Naomi. Well, that that should be a pretty cool match. But uh, now we're gonna let's do uh, Becky uh, versus Lita. Even though Becky Lynch said that Lita kind of created her in a way. Lita said that she can destroy her. But Becky Lynch was not too happy on that Raw. Like the last Raw, I think. Wasn't that happy. So, I think Becky's going to go all out and just barely, barely be able to beat Lita. Just barely. And then, let's do Roman Reigns versus Goldberg. Say so, yeah, I've watched some of my one of my favorite YouTubers assemble, and uh, like I watch one of his streams saying that there's a huge theory on online that is pretty that I think is pretty accurate. That um, uh, Roman versus Goldberg is that's gonna be like a very short match. Goldberg uh, hits his moves like at this point, Roman Reigns surviving all of those attitude adjustments at SummerSlam. I don't think four jackhammers and four spears will be enough to take Roman now down. I could be wrong. You never know. But Theory Online saying that Goldberg hit his moves, Roman kicks out, and then Roman um, hits his moves a couple of times, and then, boom, Goldberg's down. And now we're down to the last two matches on the card. We have the Women's Elimination Chamber. 
which I personally think the winner will be Bianca Belair, even though, I, I, that's, even though that's who I think's going to win. I don't want her to win, though. I think uh, Rhea or Liv should win. Or that that's who I want to win, but I think Bianca's going to win. But uh, that'll be a really cool match. Rhea Ripley put on a fantastic uh, gauntlet match where she dropped the win to Bianca at the last in like the last match. So I think Rhea is gonna do really well. Have some good spots in the match. I don't think she's gonna win, but I want her to win though. Bianca will go. I mean, I think this could be a pretty pretty cool idea. You get you you've seen wrestlers get up on top of the on on top of the pods. Imagine KOD off the top of the pond. Imagine that. Imagine that. That would be insane. Dewdrop has been handled pretty well. She's been getting a little bit of a push. That would be a strong force to deal with in a steel in a steel cage. Like that would be pretty hard to, to fight against Dewdrop in there. Imagine that, like, Dewdrop does, like, a, um, a moonsault off the top rope landing on you when you're on the steel cage mat. And then we have uh, Nikki A.S.H. They, she was dropped the, uh, pretty quickly to Rhea in the gauntlet match. I don't think there's a... I think she is the least likely to win. Even though that she isn't um, being pushed too well right now, I watched the up, 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 down, down thing about 2K22, and Nikki has a higher rating than Liv. Like, that don't make no kind of sense. Liv has a 77, and Nikki has an 82. I think they should switch their overalls. And Liv should be higher either way. I think she should be 85 at least. But either way, and then we have Liv, of course. Probably have a good showing too. Probably have some cool spots in the match, like like I said with, with Dewdrop, she might do moon salts or whatever. Like it'll be pretty, it'll be a little bit interesting. But the real interesting part is Alexa Bliss is back, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she's still the fiendish Alexa Bliss. I'm not sure if she's back to the goddess. I, or maybe it'll be a mix. Like maybe she'll have like a Damien Priest side and then like go back to a fiend and act like the fiendish Alexa Bliss kind of. And then and then you'll just be normal and just be back to to, to the back to the goddess. Or it'll be a completely a uh, completely different character that might have those two sides. Either way, I'm not sure how Alexa's gonna do in that match. Like I don't know. It get it. I don't know. She hasn't competed since Crown Jewel, so it's been like four or five months. So, I don't know what to say about Alexa being in the match. We'll find out, though, that's for sure. But overall, I think Bianca will win the, the Elimination Chamber. However, I'm not sure. And then we are down to our last match, the Men's Chamber. Now, who I want to win the match is either Riddle or AJ Styles. Who I think's gonna win the match is gonna be Brock or Bobby, because they've got that storyline. I think what's gonna happen is it's gonna be the main thing, Bobby and Brock um, just going crazy in the match. Powerhouse for powerhouse in a elimination chamber. It'll probably be the main focus, along with the other guys in the ring being Seth, Riddle, Austin, and AJ doing some cool spots while Lashley and Brock are just going mad in the match. But I think either Bobby's going to win. I'm not sure. But like I said with the symbol, I watched his stream too. He also had a theory saying that Brock will win the, the chamber, walk into WrestleMania as WWE Champion, lose to Roman. Roman have both the belts, unify the belts, and then uh, he, that way Roman can be on both shows, USA and Fox, to get more money for those shows and more money for WWE. So more watch time with Roman Reigns. Because Roman, either way, Roman or Brock, 
could win because both of them are big money makers for the company, so it really doesn't matter who wins that. So we'll have a prediction for WrestleMania 2. Hopefully there'll be a lot more matches on the card. But um, the only other possible thing other than Brock and Bobby, which I'm pretty sure one of the two is going to win, I'm leaning more towards Brock. I want him uh, to win more than Lashley, but it's going to be one of them two. The third thing, like if if anyone's el if anyone else is not going to beat, the only reason that Brock or Bobby would not win the chamber is if they're so focused on just beating each other up that someone else could just, one guy can just chill, hang back while they're beating each other up. And like, um, let's say Lashley F5, or no, um, Lesnar F5 Lashley, Lashley rolls out and then like AJ's left in the match. Phenomenal forearm eliminates Lesnar and then pulls off his last few moves to eliminate Lashley. So just uh, being smart would be the only way, right? Being smart and Brock and Bobby being dumb is the only way that anyone else is going to win the match, I think. So do you think AJ might be a wild card to win it? Um, I'm not sure. I think the only, Seth is probably the next person to win if it's not. Bobby or Brock, like I said, I mean, I just used AJ as a reference. Like, so any of the other four can come in and be smart while Brock and Bobby are being, are being dumb. And they are not focusing, and they're just focused on, uh, focusing on beating each other up. That's the only way that anyone else would probably win, probably. So do you have any other surprise uh, entrance or moments that you think might happen? Probably a surprise moment is uh, at some point we have to get, like, Asuka and Bailey need to come back. Bailey was on Up, Up, Down, Down for 2K22. So, like, imagine Becky retains against Lita. Bailey comes out, challenges Becky to a match at WrestleMania. Maybe uh, loses, either loses or Becky wins, or either she wins or she loses, and then Asuka come back at WrestleMania. And they challenge the winner of that match to the next pay-per-view at, like, SummerSlam or something. But um, the possibilities of the guys win, I think Brock's going to be number one, Bobby number two, Seth number three, AJ number four, Riddle number five, and Austin number six. Those are the uh, possibilities of them winning. Austin has the lowest chance, and Brock has the biggest chance, I think. But um, right now, that was my prediction for the um, Elimination Chamber match card for 2022. And for now, this is going to be Detective GBB going out.